Hi everyone, welcome to the Sugar and Crumbs Kitchen. Sorry we are late tonight, but after our little uh, mishap before, and then I need to go and make myself a coffee, and then Simon wanted a coffee, and then we all got comfy, <laughs> and uh, it's great fun here in the kitchen. So uh, we have got Cicely Sutherland back in the kitchen. Is it Sutherland or Suther? Sutherland. Yeah. Sutherland, Sutherland, isn't it? Yeah. So we've got Cicely back in the kitchen. We love having her here. She was here last month. You all enjoyed her company and it was great to see all the edible fabrics. Wasn't it fabulous yeah. seeing how many people make it? Yeah, quite a few people have posted yeah. now saying they've tried it. It's yeah. really great. Yeah, absolutely lovely. And I'm sure you're going to enjoy watching tonight's live. She's making a chocolate fudgy orange cake, also some orange curd. And I would like you to start putting the love hearts up, give us lots of love lots of support and um, she's actually quite a shy girl really <laughs> but very funny when you get to know her so she says some really funny things I really quite like it's quite cute really but very confident and what's your Facebook page again not too shabby cakes not too shabby cakes pop over there like her page feel free to send her a message and she'll be more than happy in yeah. her recipe is actually on our recipe website we're streaming into the recipe website page as well so do pop over there if you want to uh, follow the recipe later so no need to ask for the recipe details it's there for you so um, our recipe website is sugarandcrumbsmixingitup.com it's on the pack back of every packet of icing sugar and cocoa powder and uh, like I say if you're a member of the recipe group then you'll see it in there streaming live yeah all right I'm gonna hand over to you young lady okay oh and by the way we have got Cicely's, Cicely's mum in the kitchen Ellie hi Ellie Hiya. doesn't it smell gorgeous in <laughs> yeah, here it's beautiful yeah, and we've got Simon in the kitchen. And do we have sound, Simon? <laughs> <laughs> I'll leave you to it. <laughs> Hi, everybody. I'll leave you to it, yes. Oh, thank you. It's <laughs> nice, isn't it? <laughs> right, go on then. It's all yours, Cicely. Right, I'm going to be starting off showing you how to make the chocolate orange fudge cake, um, which I use. Carol's chocolate orange cocoa powder to make it. Oh, just realised I've left my chocolate water, which I actually need. <laughs> so to start off this recipe, the first thing that you need to do is you need to get your boiling water and mix it with your cocoa powder because that's got to go cold before you can do anything else. And how much cocoa powder? Yeah, so it's 200 millilitres of boiling water and 50 grams of cocoa powder. Is that plain cocoa powder or just plain? Yeah, that's the, um, I use the chocolate orange cocoa yeah. powder, but I suppose it's interchangeable really yeah. with any of the flavoured yeah. cocoa powders. I mean, we've got five or six flavours, can't remember now. Yeah. Why do you have to do that, Cicely? Why do you have to, why do you have to make it, dissolve it and then let it go cold? Um, is that the secret ingredient, is it? I, th I think so, <laughs> yeah. I think this is what makes it really like fudgy and yeah. like a little bit gooey when you yeah. eat it. I like to say it's like a cross between like a chocolate cake and a brownie. Yeah, because I've actually never seen anything. I've never heard or anybody doing it like that. So great, I'm looking forward to it. Yeah. <laughs> All right, so let's get the thumbs up then. Let's, uh, let's see how we're getting on here. And uh, I'll ask you questions as we go along. Okay, well then let me get the mixing bowl over here. Um, so first of all, I get the butter, which would be 100 grams of butter. Um, here, I've doubled the recipe. Um, just the single recipe that will do an 8 inch cake but that will do like a sandwich type cake you know like just a slim one like what you would have with um, you know your cup of tea yeah. but I don't know about you guys but I like a big cake yeah. I like it really really tall I like the idea of it being I like very moist cakes me so this yeah. appeals to me yeah I don't like a dry cake <laughs> God. Yeah, so please do like and share to be even in a chance to win this £25 voucher. Um, we, I have forgot to do the draws for this week, so what I'll do is I'll announce them on the page tomorrow. So um, I, forgot, I forgot to actually do them before, so I'll do them tomorrow. And then um, Maxine Kelly is saying, is this not on YouTube, Simon? Are we streaming to YouTube? So we're just having a little look, see if we're streaming to YouTube. Yeah. It's having a very stressful night, is our Simon? First no sound, maybe not on YouTube. <laughs> Just, we can put it on YouTube. Can we? Okay, um, so I'm mixing. We're going to three places. 
So this recipe is 100 grams of butter mixed with 250 grams of sugar, but I've doubled it. So I've got 200 and 500 grams. So I'm just gonna whip that together. It's really hard to do this, like from the behind of the KitchenAid. It's like all back to front. <laughs> It's weird, and you have to be careful yeah. to just go through some of it, isn't it? So, I'm not sure whether we are on YouTube or not, but either way, later on, Simon can actually post it to YouTube. I think what happened is, when we had no sound, I deleted the original YouTube. The one that we've got streaming now is not on YouTube. Might have had something to do with the, this one there. Might have. Yeah, because it's just saying it's not there. It's been deleted. So sorry guys if it's not me, it's been deleted off of YouTube. That was the start of the intro. So we do apologise for that technical difficulties with Simon. <laughs> Keep smiling, Sicily. <laughs> There's no point putting it on now. What we'll do is we'll what we'll do is we'll post it to YouTube after this and then you can go back and watch it later on tomorrow. Or if you've got one of those fancy TV screens, you can just cast it. Have you heard of casting it to the screen? Yeah, that's what I do with you at home. Oh, I it? cast you to the big tally when I put my little girl to bed. Do you know, I only learned about that in the summer, and I have no <laughs> idea. I got a new television, and I went, oh, you need this, uh, is it HDMI cable? And they looked at me and went, that's so out of date. And I went, what do you mean it's so out of date? They said, you just cast. No cables. And I'm like, what do you mean you just cast? They said, you can flick your finger. I yeah. couldn't get it, I was like a little, I felt like an old lady as though I was just learning something new, you know, it's like beyond me. Amazing when you know how, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> right, go on, I'm going to let you carry on. Right, so then next I'm going to add um, 175 grams of plain flour and I've got a quarter teaspoon of baking powder and one teaspoon of bicarb but I've doubled up the recipe again. So maybe put this back on and then I'm gonna whip the flour into it. And then whilst, wrong one, whilst it's going, I'm just gonna add in the eggs one at a time. Right, just a great question in case I missed it. The recipe that you're doing now, yeah. do they double it? Yeah, so I have doubled it. On, so the recipe yeah. that's on the website is just for one cake tin. Yeah. And you're doubling it because you want a tall cake. Yeah. Perfect, got it. <laughs> there you go, Michelle. We've got it for you. Double the recipe if you want the tall cake. Yep. Got the flour all mixed in so it looks a bit like crumble. And then I'm just going to add the eggs slowly if they'll come out the bowl slowly. Also, it does make quite a loose mixture, so if your cake mixture looks a little bit loose and a bit runny, it's supposed to, don't worry. So then I've got this all mixed in, and then that's when you add the cocoa mixture, which is the chocolate orange cocoa powder, mixed with just some boiling water and let it go all the way cold. Well, if you used to pour it in hot, it would melt the butter. It possibly cook the eggs. Yeah, just, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Pour this in slowly, because if you do it too fast, it will splash all over the kitchen up the walls. Well, that would give you a good reason to put it in a lot of my cupboards. What was it you said before? Yeah. <laughs> oh, that I wanted an all-inclusive holiday in your cupboards. I know, I thought that was so funny. <laughs> I love that. I want an all-inclusive holiday here. Where? In your, in your kitchen cupboard. Yeah, just so like, I can use everything. <laughs> yeah, just so I could play with everything. Like, <laughs> like the sprinkle cupboard. It's like heaven. Move the over here. So we're asking, what is the substitute for egg? Oil. Mm. So, um, uh, Rainseed oil, vegetable oil, that's what you can use. Instead of, yeah. Instead of yeah. I know you 
can substitute. I personally never have, but I don't see why you won't be able to. No, you can substitute yeah. egg royal. And then I'm just going to give the bowl a good scrape. I've done this before where I forgot to scrape it, and then when the cake's cooked and you cut it open, um, you'll have just like white blobs where the cake mixture's not all fully mixed in. I find as well, if I want to do a two tier cake, then I'll do. I'll do the recipe times four, and that will do two eight inch, two six inch for a nice big stack to tear. Sorry, we've got a fly in the kitchen, and I don't want it landing on anything. <laughs> <laughs> we don't want it landing on our chocolate cake now, do we? <laughs> Can't believe you can have a fly this time of the year. They're normally not around, have I? It's been quite mild, hasn't it, though? Eh? It's been very mild. Yeah. Everything is under cover there for you, Cicely. Thank you. There we go. Now I'm just going to give it one more quick mix just to make sure it's all fully incorporated. And I'm not going to pull the wrong one this time because it's back to front. I keep pulling the wrong one. Well, I've noticed the fly now. <laughs> so strong. Oh, it's gorgeous. Mm -hmm. It does smell good. I walked back in here before and it was like, whoa, that's lovely. It's mm -hmm. Because it's such a, like a fudgy chocolate cake recipe, the first time that I tried it with the orange cocoa powder, because there's such a small amount of cocoa powder really in, in it, I thought, oh, is it actually going to be, you know, really, really strong? Yeah. But it is. <laughs> it smells good. Mm -hmm. It does smell good. I just realised that I chose the smallest spatula <laughs> for the biggest mixture. Oh, you've got a big spatula here. I know. I know. I went for the tiny one and I don't know why. So I'm going to be putting this into two six inch tins. Like How a, big do you expect them to rise? The size of the tin. Just under the height of the cake. <laughs> yeah, no. Just, I just cut it. Yeah, just cut the paper in half. I was thinking, crikey, these are going to be ginormous, these, aren't they? No, I just don't like to faff around. <laughs> so I just cut it straight in half and it'll be fine. And then I find as well, um, having the grease proof paper up the sides, it just allows them to like climb up if they want to. Oh, that looks really good, it? it looks really nice. It smells really nice. Yes. And am I making a mess? No, you carry on enjoying yourself, Cecilia. Don't you worry. <laughs> Everybody knows you're only little, peeping over that grease proof paper. <laughs> That's why I'm laughing. Like you put the tallest grease proof paper on. You <laughs> can't stand on your toes because you've made it any harder for yourself. Yeah, but this is how I do it at home. <laughs> so I make it just just as difficult for myself at home. So there we go, and that's it. Filled in here. Um, do, uh, do you know what? I don't know. I just do. I just do. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know if it has like a big effect, but I just do it. <laughs> and we pop these in the maybe oven. Maybe that's your little secret, actually. You maybe. Know, maybe that's why they Yeah, maybe work. just yeah. double tap them. The oven, they will, because I took a shelf out before we went live, <laughs> um, which is what I have to do at home. I have yeah. to take the top shelf out. Um, and I bake this low and slow, so I yeah. bake this at between 150 and 160. Yeah. And because I get, I've got these nice and full and deep. Yeah. These will probably cook for like an hour and a half. So before you, can we see the overhead of them? So yeah. Can we see them in the tin? Yeah. Let's have a little look what it looks like in there. Yeah. So it's. Oops. <laughs> 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 you still, you're still making him dizzy. Say so. so okay. I'm follow you. Okay. <laughs> Everyone's still got the reds on. Yeah. So it's filled up almost to the top of the tin. Have you all gone spinning? <laughs> so I'm going to put these in the oven. Nesma says it helps to get rid of any air bubbles. That's probably why I do it. I probably read it somewhere. <laughs> That's what happens. Sometimes I read things somewhere and I think that makes sense. Yeah. But then I don't know why I do it. I just know somebody once said it. Or so I've watched it somewhere, like the Bake Off or something. <laughs> then it just sticks with me and I don't know why. Yeah. Um, 
So one or two of you are not sure whether you like chocolate orange or not, but you can use any chocolate yeah. uh, flavour. I mean, we do plenty of flavours. I mean, we've got um, cherry, which is amazing. It's to die for. That is actually what I was going to do. Was it? But then I seen Laura's chocolate cake live, ah, and I thought, oh, that's ruined my plans. <laughs> so I thought, what can I do instead? I well, thought, I'll do orange. Yeah. <laughs> well, the orange is gorgeous. One of my mm. favourites is the lime. I love the lime. It's amazing. Wow. You know, like those chocolate lime sweets, it tastes just like that. I love the chocolate chilli. So if you want to be a bit brave, that's really nice. And the chocolate coconut is to die for as well. So um, do you ever put chocolate, uh, melted chocolate into your mix? No. no, no. I tried it once with the chocolate chips. Yeah. But I found that it just melted in, and you couldn't really taste the difference. So I yeah. thought it was just an extra step that I didn't need to do. Yeah. So um, Sharon, you can put it in eight-inch tins if you wanted mm -hmm. to. And um, there's no, there's no. You can put them in any size tins, yeah. but she just wants nice deep um, bases. So um, if you, it, all it does, if you put it in an eight-inch tin, you just get. Um, Slimmer bases. If well, that we makes have sense. an eight inch yeah. here. So that have a ready. <coughs> yeah. so, so, doing the recipe once, we'll just make like two of these little tins, so just like a nice little sandwich cake, which is fine if you just want it as, yeah. you know, just as a nice cake. Like but, cake yeah, so yeah, so. but for decorating, we all quite like a bit of a bigger <laughs> cake. <laughs> yeah, a bit bigger. <laughs> and some nice compliments about your top, Sicily. They like it. Thank you. I got it from a charity shop. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry girls, I was going to try and give you the link of where she bought it, but then I'm not sure you can get another one now. I don't do you know think... what brand it is? No, no, do you want to check my tag? Oh, can we have Let's have a look at you. It's is Marks and there... Spencer's collection. Marks and Spencer's. Yeah, I'll just pick up some classy stuff there. Fancy. <laughs> right. And it's a collection as well. Yo. <laughs> So, I'm also going to be showing you how to make the chocolate orange, no I'm not, orange curd I'm going to be showing you how to make. So, I have some, let me move this, we get the one that I've made. So, I'm just getting the recipe girls, ladies, just one minute, I can't. I know uh, where do we find the recipe. So the recipe is on the recipe website. And if you are in the recipe group, we are streaming into the recipe group as well. And I'll put the recipe up in there. Yeah, so this is my orange curd. And it's like nice and thick. Hey, sneaky. Do you know what I've just realised? I'm so busy putting the recipe on here, they're all going, oh, that's not hot on Carol's pink board. I have not, I've only just turned it on, it's not been on yet, don't worry guys. Yeah, so this is the orange curd, but this same recipe can be changed out for any fruit really. I've used it with lemon, orange, grapefruit, passion fruit, raspberry, so I think lime, I think you could probably do it with just about anything really. Um, so to start this recipe off, Um, yeah, so to start this recipe off, I've got four egg yolks, which I've just got to put straight into the pan. I just need to grab my whisk. I'm prepared, I've got my whisk. <laughs> And we're going to be mixing that with a cup of sugar. Yes, I'm sure it is. Half a cup of sugar. <laughs> Usually when I'm doing this, I'm just in the kitchen by myself. So if it was ever so strange, you know, talking through it. It is, isn't it? Because I think you just, when you're doing a recipe, you just... You just do it, yeah. The recipe and just get on, but suddenly you've got to remember to tell everybody what it was. Yeah, so I've just whisked together the egg yolks and the sugar in the pan, so it's all creamed in together. I'm going to put this over onto the heat, and then I'm going to add in Two thirds of a cup of orange juice that I freshly squeezed. 
mix that in. Is my arm in your way, Simon, for this? Because I'm left handed, so I've got my hands right under your camera. Not too bad. And then I'm going to add in just a little bit of orange zest, about half a tablespoon. Mix that in. <laughs> and then just going to start mixing in a little bit of butter. So, uh, Michelle will do, um, is it Michelle? Will do, uh, Annette, the little balls uh, from B&M, I think they are. Um, one of our admins sent them to me, and aren't they pretty? Little flamingo balls. So, uh, she was a bit obsessive when I used balls with different colours or something. So, uh, Lindsay treated me to them. They're, They're really nice, actually. They are pretty, aren't That's they? exactly what I did when I came in. I got all the cake recipe in yellow, yeah. and then I got all of the curd in these cute little ones with the birds on. My granddaughter comes in, she, she's only three, and she goes, Mingo, no, she's four then. Mingos, I love Mingos. <laughs> she's going to keep stirring this whilst the butter starts to gently melt into it. One thing as well, as soon as you put the egg yolks and the sugar on the heat, you need to get the lemon juice in it pretty fast and just continually stir it because otherwise the egg yolks will start to go like scrambled eggs. All right, that's a good tip. You just gotta keep it moving because I've learned the hard way. If you don't, it scrambles and you have to trick it all away. So go and go through that bit again. So what do, what did you do to the recipe? What did you put in first? Yeah, so I I've put in the egg yolks, um, four egg yolks, and I mixed that with half a cup of sugar. Mm -hmm. Um, so it was all creamy together, and then I added two thirds of a cup of fresh orange juice that I squeezed and half a teaspoon of orange zest and then this is 71 grams of butter that I've put into little cubes so I've added about half and that's almost melted so I'm just going to add the rest now Oops. and that's the recipe really <laughs> just got to keep it moving and then you've got to keep mixing it. It will take a little bit of time for it to get thick enough, but you aim for it to be like custard. Yeah. You know, when you can like scrape a line down it on the back of the spatula. But one thing that I have found as well is if you find you haven't mixed it enough, once it's gone cold and set in the fridge and it's still a little bit too runny, chuck it back in the pan. Yeah. And just oh, mix it. That, yeah. yeah. Just oh, keep mixing cool. it for a bit longer. Or if it's just not coming together, maybe you've used a little bit too much juice. Because sometimes I just eyeball it. Yeah. Um, you can't add a tiny bit of gelatin just to, you know, thicken it up. Yeah. So, can we have the amounts in grams and mils, please? Do you know what the amounts are in grams and mils? Do I need to convert them later? I think we'll have to convert them <laughs> later because I just use my little measuring cups to do it. Right, so anybody who wants the amounts in grams and mils, Debbie, I will convert them later for you. I haven't seen the recipe myself, I've been at work all day. So uh, I dashed in, in fact, Cicely, was, uh, Cicely and her mum were actually here before I was. Yeah. So I think I come flying in about half past six or something. Yeah. So um, I haven't seen it and um, I will convert the res recipe. Mm -hmm. So this is just the longest part, just keeping it moving. But you can see it's got like a really nice creamy colour. And it smells really yummy. But yeah, I think you could just do this with any fruit really. Yeah. I've done quite a few and it always works out great. Is there any more questions coming in? No, 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 it's all very positive. You've got a nice viewing audience. You've got over 300 people watching you oh. tonight. So that's really quite nice. We're not on YouTube. Definitely not. Definitely not. No, no. we're definitely not on YouTube. So okay. we're sorry we about that. So yeah. we can put it. Yeah. So we are sorry. We will pop it onto YouTube later. And um, the recipe I am actually going to, I've just actually posted the recipe a couple of times for you. Um, I've not checked whether Antonia actually, um, changed any of the amounts to mills or um mills or grams but i will get it done later on for you yeah this is i'm sorry guys this well, is like the longest part do you know what it's like? it's like waiting for the kettle to boil it's definitely it dry i remember we used to make custard you know with bird's eye custard 
And yeah. that's the same, it's like that. You just end up going for it ages, yeah. don't you? And you think it's just not gonna work, it's not gonna work. And then suddenly it starts thicken up. But mm. you know what I did? I, 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 I stopped stirring it and let it thicken up that way. Have you got that on kind of medium heat? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Because yeah. I found that when I, when I did a custard, it just stopped stirring it, let it start to thicken up, get the bubbles all around the side. I don't know if it'll do it with that. But we'll try. You're just like me now, I'll get scrambled egg. We'll get scrambled egg, won't we? Yeah. You carry on. <laughs> oh, the recipe is in grams on the website. Thank oh, you, Charlie. That's great. Yeah, it's bubbling nicely. Uh, Maureen Bailey says you are doing fine. Just keep what, keep doing what you do. We've all been there. <laughs> Same as when you're trying to hand whisk cream. <gasps> yeah. It just it won't go, and all of a sudden it goes. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, no, it doesn't kill you. I, I can't hand whisk anything anymore. But um, Carol, the cake recipe is in grams. It's just the orange curd, which she mentions half a cup of sugar and five five tablespoons of cubes butter. That's 71 grams. Right, oh, so you The do butter, know. I know the butter right, is 71 right, grams. So the butter is 71 grams. Mm -hmm. And the half of cup of, um, what I'll do is I'll measure it afterwards. That one yes. gram is very important. So mm -hmm. yeah, well, because one tablespoon of butter is 14.2 grams, you have to times that by five, it made 71. I sound like a mathematician, I googled it. <laughs> I did google it. I'm actually, I'm actually well impressed you remembered, I couldn't have remembered. <laughs> You do make me <laughs> smile. <laughs> um, they're just saying, do you have to have orange rind in it? No, no. you don't have to. No, no personal choice. No, you, you can leave that out if you, you want. want to leave that out, that's fine. Yeah, leave out the orange rind if you want to. Entirely up to you. <laughs> oh, it is thickening up now, I left yeah. it to bubble a little bit. Yeah. I just learned that with custard because I found that if I kept stirring custard, it took ages. Where mm. if I just if I stirred it until it got to sort of like thick, and then just leave it, let it bubble, and then let the mm. bubbles join round because they go they start off on one end of the pan, they go round and yeah. join, and then when it got there, I just stirred it then. So I'm not saying that's how you make lemon curd. I'm just <laughs> thinking maybe that's what it can Same thicken. sort of principle, isn't it? I don't know. <laughs> well, we'll see now. <laughs> That's Michelle was great. just saying, Carol, do you know if this all goes wrong, you will join the same list as me and get the blame for it. <laughs> um, could you use orange curd as a mix with your buttercream for a chocolate cake filling? I can't see no reason. Yeah, for yeah. yeah. I've added lemon curd. Yeah. I can always chuck some into my buttercream today and mm. see what happens. There go. I think this is actually about done. So Karen Holt, thanks very much. One cup is two hundred grams. So we need so we need one hundred grams of sugar. Was it, it was liquid it was, that you measured, wasn't it? Yeah, it was half a cup of sugar. Yeah. And three two thirds of a cup of lem uh, orange juice. Right. Yeah, that was it. So let me just repeat this. Does anyone else get annoyed when all the different cup measurements in American Australia wish they were all the same? I've got to be honest, I'm so glad that we do grams, ounces and stuff like that. I couldn't be doing with all the cups. I would have said it's about 150 ml of orange juice then. Yes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Get you. And knowing you, you'd be right, wouldn't you? There you go. And I think this He's is always done. right about so many things. I don't, I don't actually do, don't doubt, doubt him anymore. Doubt yeah. <laughs> yeah. I think this is done because I can. So is that the top tip? This is. Mm -hmm. Go on, do that again. Turn it around. <laughs> you've just got a finger in your mouth. You're going to have to have a cloth now and use your other finger. Yeah, I'll use my other finger now. <laughs> Ready? Yeah. Yeah, like that. That bit my finger. <laughs> yeah. So you've. you've is it hot you know it's hot now then, yeah. <laughs> so this cake is your hot. cake, isn't it? So you're yeah. taking it home tonight for your family. So yes. You stick your finger in the lot and you're going to I'm not, I'm moving it over to this one. <laughs> there you go. Do you know, if she put that on the pink board, everybody would so laugh. Do you imagine? <laughs> I'm going to move these bowls out of the way. Debbie Hargreave says 158, actually, Simon. 151. Your, your, girl, your girlfriend, your, your top fan. 158, actually, Simon. Oh, yeah. Debbie Hargreave.
process. Right, I'm just going to get my strainer. And Simon, have you got, um, Geraldine Allen wants to know, have you got one of your t-shirts on tonight? One of my t-shirts? Yeah, where you were printed, the one no. you printed ones. No. no. It's all covered up tonight, Geraldine. I'm back, guys. <laughs> so then all I do now is I just run it through a sieve and just get out. If there's any, you know, little lumps or... I'm being super careful near your pink board. <laughs> and uh, it also gets out some of that zest as well because then it leaves the flavour in there but it doesn't leave, you know, chunks yeah. of zest. I think that's what people don't like about the rind. It's like, it's like, uh, it's like um, if you buy jam, I always buy seedless jam. Mm -hmm. You know, I do. And uh, I always buy rhymeless marmalade as well. So I think that's what it is. So I think they'd be quite happy. So you should have waited, girls, until you've got the <laughs> sieve out. Yeah, I just <laughs> sieve it through and get rid of the zest. You could leave it in, I suppose, if you wanted to. Or you could add more at the end if, yeah. if you're into the zest. But personally, I like it out. I like it really smooth. Yeah, I agree with you. Let's get all of that pushed through. There you go, you can actually see now all the zest that it's left behind. There you go. And then all you need to do is just let that set up and go cold. And then put it in a jar or a clip lock box or whatever it is you're going to use. And just put it in the fridge. And as long as you put it in an airtight container, then it should last about two weeks in the fridge. And it's really yummy. Can't wait yeah. to taste it. Can't wait to taste it. <laughs> Um, what are we doing? Oh, look at how well, Lynn Woodworth says, look at how well trained we are when it comes to protecting Carol's poop. <laughs> Make everybody nervous. <laughs> I bet you're all the same at home though with your pink boards, aren't you? <laughs> Go on, you can put any of those on the pink boards. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so I've already whipped up this butter. As you can see, because it's all up the sides. That's funny, Claire. She's now had to turn up the sound as her husband is now snoring. <laughs> Frank, if he was next to my John, even if I had the sound on the full glass, we wouldn't hear. Oh no. Just trying to get all the butter off the beater. We put this back on. There we go. I love it that you now know your way around my kitchen. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I love it. To be fair, I actually really like it now because, like, Claire Corbett was here yesterday, straight in the cupboards, got out what she wanted. Jerry was here last week, got out what they wanted out the cupboards. It's great. Hey? No, you don't. Just say some load of ass off. Go on, help yourself. <laughs> so, I'm going to be making the Jaffa Twist icing sugar to go on the cake. Um. And we actually made the Jaffa Twist ourselves with the icing sugar and the orange cocoa powder, which Carol showed me how to do. Yeah, so you can make, you can make Jaffa, you, we, we sell um, Jaffa Twist icing sugar, which is the flavoured icing sugar, but um, also if you are stuck and you haven't got any chocolate flavoured icing sugar, and if you just look at the colour of this before she has any liquid or anything, um, if you do 500 grams of white icing sugar, just plain icing sugar, and you can add anything between 35 to 40 grams of the cocoa powder, depending on how strong you want it, just mix it together and then add it with your butter and you'll have Jaffa Twist or um, if you're going to use the, co your, the coconut or the lime or whatever, you'll have that. So you can see how it's light in colour and as soon as she starts to mix this together, you'll see how lovely and dark it actually goes. It smells so good, but I'm splashing it everywhere. So your Martin says, I still haven't learnt my way around our kitchen at home. Every time I used to know where the stuff is, Cicely moves them around again. Cicely was telling me about her OCD, so I take it you like changing things around then and having everything organised. Yes. Well, <laughs> um, yeah, I can't really settle with something the same. I just, I want to make it more and more efficient. Yeah. <laughs> So you'll see it's a light colour, the cocoa powder, but as soon as we get it on the mixer, so um, Cicely's just chopping it in now. 
I like to beat the um, the buttercream. I like to beat the butter till it's lovely white mm -hmm. and soft. I'm not sure. Did you beat it till it's soft? That's yeah. just much what you were doing. Yeah. And then yeah. add in the um, flavored icing sugar and the cocoa powder, or already the, the ready made one. And um, and just trap it all in. And um, I forgot to announce, la announce ladies. Um, we have put on a sale for the beginning of the month. We should have been at Cake and Ooh. Bake this weekend. And when we go to Cake and Bake, so all the cake shows have been cancelled. When we go to Cake and Bake, we always do um, offers on our rice and sugars. So as we should have been there tomorrow, what John has actually done is he put a sale on. So all ice and sugars are two pound a bag, ladies, for the weekend. So um, if you're looking for ice and sugar, two pound a bag. It started this afternoon, just before we went live. Um, I put it on and um, grab it while you can. I'll be on there later. Two pound a bag. I'll be sending you on with a big box full of video, so don't worry. I was laughing when we gave you a big box full of stuff last time. Um, Karen, did you have it on your knee all the way home in the car? Yeah. Uh, was, it, was it Karen who gave it to you? Who gave it to you in the car? Who gave it? She said again, sure. whoever it was, whichever office member it was, she said I gave it to her. And I said yeah. I put it in the back of the car. She said no, I want it on my knee. And she, she said, well, it's heavy. Yeah, but I want to look at it. Yeah, that's what I want to look at my goodies. I was so excited, and then I had it on my knee, and I was, you know, I was pulling ice and sugars out the whole way home, and I was like, I've got this flavour and this flavour. I was so excited. It was like Christmas. And did we put cocoa powders in that for you? Yeah, I think. And then with yeah, and then with my order the other day, I got the um, banana split whipping it up, oh, which I'm awesome. really excited about. I don't actually like bananas, but I like banana flavored things yeah. like banana sweets and milkshake yeah. and stuff. So I'm really excited. I'm not making any cakes for two weeks now, so I'm going to be spending that time just. Having a play with all the different icing sugars. Oh, it was Karen from the office who gave you the box. Yeah, so it's Karen Lena. She gave you the box. I can't remember. I thought it was Karen, but I can't remember. It was just so funny. She said, I said, where do you want me to put it? She said, I mean, you. The fish is worried that you're only little in the car with this big giant box of sugars on. So the, uh, so the icing sugar is on sale. Two pounds a bag, everyone. Grab it while you can. Well, stop that. And John has put it on because we should have been technically at the Cake and Bake show this weekend. And as you all know, there's no shelves on, uh, no um, shows on anymore. I'm just going to get a little bit of water. Margo, <laughs> Carol, I may have to block you. I think I've got as nearly as much ice and sugar as you. <laughs> Yeah, the icing sugar gone. as well. I mean, somebody just mentioned there um, about if you put it in, you know, banana protein drinks. Our icing sugar is actually delicious to make milkshakes. It's also, um, I don't know whether any of you thought about it, but the icing sugar is also delicious to add a small teaspoon to your natural yogurt. So you don't have to, depending on how sweet it is, we'll just add a half, half a teaspoon to your natural yogurt. Um, I just add it to your milkshakes. My grandchildren absolutely love milkshakes made with it. Our Holly has to have a strawberry milkshake every morning. She adores it. Um, the chocolate icing sugars are brilliant as well. And the chocolate cocoa powders are delicious mm. for a hot chocolate drink at night time. So now those ones are nice, so come and make yourself a delicious hot chocolate drink. You can have a lovely hot chocolate orange mm. drink. Don't tell Martin. To <laughs> Martin's going to be up in the cake room stealing it now, trying to make milkshake. <laughs> looks so good. I make cakes all the time but I still just want to sit with a spoon when I make buttercream and just sit and eat it. It doesn't do my size any favours. Yeah Michelle Ward I agree with you. Um, I, I don't particularly like the taste of fresh cream and, um, and then mm. I put my flavoured icing sugars in fresh cream and oh my god it's a game changer and about 18 months ago I was making something in here with blueberry and I put it in, John was streaming the live, it was back, it must be more than 18 months ago now but he friggin' nearly nosedived the whole bowl of blueberry flavoured fresh cream. Oh, wow. um, have you tried it in fresh cream? No. 
Well, seriously, everybody, if you've got fresh cream. And then Karen was doing um, a bake here in the kitchen once and she just she had some cream over and she just whisked it up. So she offered me whatever it was, can't remember now. And I went, oh, God, Karen, that's awful. And she went, well, what's wrong with it? I said, oh, I can't stand it. And it's because it was just fresh cream. And I said, was you here then? Do you remember that? <laughs> Do you remember so, that? Yeah. <laughs> and I went, oh, my God, where's the icing? Have you not got the icing sugar in it? <laughs> I'm going to have to give that a go now when I go home. Yeah, yeah, honestly, it's a game changer. All of you, do try it in your fresh cream. Uh, try it in your condensed milk. Try it, try it in any milky product. It's absolutely yeah. delicious. And Karen um, Griffiths made some, I call them elephant's feet. I don't know what she called them. What does she want when she's making those shoe pastry rounds? Did you see that one time? I don't know what, yeah. But they were amazing. So she made the shoe pastry the other week and then she used the velvet vanilla for the fresh cream. Oh, my wow. God. Wow. cream. Laura in the office at two and she always behaves herself. Yin at two, John at three. John came home and said, that's it. We are not eating any more cake. I think we're ready to bring the cakes over. Yeah, bring your cakes over, come on. <laughs> so these are ones that you've already pre-baked earlier, isn't it? Yes. Yes. So we don't want you to wait for an hour in the kitchen while uh, Cicely's cake's baked, so she has already pre-baked them. So these are the ones yeah. she made earlier, and don't make yeah. them lovely and soft and moist. Mm. But what do they stop when you feel the top? Ooh. Nice and soft. Yeah. You're very gooey. Yeah. <laughs> are you going to put them on top of each other, or are you going to trim them? Hmm. <sighs> What do you normally do? I don't mind, yeah. I'm just wondering if there's any coming my way. <laughs> I think I'm going to trim them. Okay. Do you normally trim them? Yeah, sometimes I do, yeah. I, sometimes I, I, I don't. I don't trim them, I just... Sometimes I don't trim them, sometimes I do. Yeah. I think it just depends. I just turn I them upside down with each other. Well, that's what I do when they're still hot, when yeah. I just take them out of the oven, I just yeah. flick them upside down yeah. to let them flatten out a bit. Yeah. Let me just get one of the knives. So, Living Woodworld says, wow, they look luscious. Don't they look gorgeous, ladies, don't they? Um, the 12 inch round drum boards, I will be putting them back into stock. Um, oh, actually, you know what, Debbie, let me find out for you, because I've just ordered them. The supplier is at, all the suppliers are out of stock of nearly everything. It's driving me crazy. Um, I've ordered drums, but I can't remember if I was able to get 12 inch rounds. If I have, I'll be putting them back in stock tomorrow afternoon. Um, we've taken the next deliver next day delivery option off as well, unless you go via DPD. The priority we've taken off the pri pri priority shipping off as well. Uh, the last time we did a sale, it went completely mental, and uh, we just with with all the um, social distancing in the warehouse, we actually couldn't pick and pack orders fast enough. So so we don't cause anybody distress. All the sales orders uh, are just going out as as they come in. So there's no priority picking at the moment. Very good. Go past us a bit then, Cicely. Yeah. Hey, do you want to make sure I sign up? No, thank you. Thank you very much. Did you want oh, some signing? No, thank you. I was losing things. I'm thinking of me. Yeah. <laughs> oh, that's very loud. And that's like the crispy top. No, I'm not very much And you can take the orange one. Yeah. Mm. So the top is what well, is always like the driest one. Yeah. I'm trying to be so careful. Yeah. Because you're going to get the orange one. Yeah. The top as well is always like the driest bit. I'm trying to be so careful not to. There we go. I didn't want to say anything. I didn't want to say anything. There's probably lots of people staying with that. <laughs> no, knife, just to I made, <laughs> I I made sure I didn't go all the way through. She'd be nervous, but they're all going, what's the big board, Cicely? No, I made sure not to go all the way through. I got it right to the last bit and then just like ripped it, that last bit. Your husband, but your, is it your husband or your partner? Not yet. Not your husband yet? No. Martin. Mm, Martin. Martin. <laughs> <laughs> You've got all these ladies going, Martin. <laughs> Come on, girls, Martin. I know, you think with all of this chocolate cake I make. Okay, Martin is saying, make sure you bring all them offcuts back. Well, don't worry, Martin, mm. she's actually bringing the cake back. The whole cake. <laughs> the whole cake, but not the offcuts. But not the offcuts, because yeah. I'm eating them. <laughs> well, sometimes that's what I do. I get the offcuts. Chuck them all in a Ziploc bag and send them with Martin to work mm, with his packed okay. lunch. I yeah. don't send him with sandwiches, I just send him with like cake scraps. <laughs> or um, sometimes get the off cuts. If I've got quite a bit of off cut, if it's quite a domed cake, then I put it with hot custard and we have it for pudding. Oh, that's nice. Which is always nice. I need to get a little bowl or something to just, just put these off cuts into so they're off the pink board. <laughs> 
I'm just laughing at Michelle Ward. She said, I was looking at DVD today, but decided I wasn't that desperate for the extra 19 bags of ice and sugar. <laughs> no, you can hang on, Michelle. Don't worry. Yeah, so we've taken off the priority shipping because when we're under pressure, we're all under pressure. Every company at the moment online is under pressure uh, because of social distancing. And it's very difficult. We, it was very difficult in our last warehouse. Thank you. <laughs> Sorry, Martin, I've got the off cut. You get the cake. So... Um, in the other building that we were in, which having to share with production and warehousing, it was very difficult. Life is much easier now we've moved to our new bigger warehouse, but even still, we only have so many staff and they can't pick and pack that fast. So do be patient, we'll get all orders out to you, but just so we can save any stress, we've taken the priority picking on. Mm -hmm. But for each bag, mm -hmm. two pound a bag, fantastic. Go on, do you need? The turntable. Yeah, there you and go. just working out which so, one. So, Ellie, you've got the choice. So, why don't you take that pink one off there, that pink cake off? Yeah? That's the same. That's like the one I use at home. That's it. Super duper. There you go. So, Ellie's mum's in the kitchen. She's our friendly assistant tonight. Yeah. We've got Ellie, we've got um, Cicely covered from all areas. <laughs> <laughs> got a little bit of this on. Uh, Julia Br Jules Brownhill says, we're loving this live, Carol and Cicely. Lots of love from Jules and Joel. Thank you. <laughs> Everybody's actually really enjoying it. We're over 300 people oh, and they good. are loving it. Ooh, so it's a big slab of cake. Oh, they're all going Martin. Martin. <laughs> Martin, really. Nikki King, really Martin. Jackie Adams, <laughs> Martin. Deborah Jones, Martin. Martin oh. Cook, come on, Martin. Diarela, Martin, what are you doing? Karen Holt, Martin. Jill Cook, Martin. Oh, Michelle gosh. Ward, yes, Martin. Yes, Martin. <laughs> Martin. <laughs> so, I need to grab... What's he done? Well, he hasn't made an honest one yeah. with Sicily yet. I know, I've had his child as well. Let <laughs> <laughs> me get a piping bag to do my little border. Oh, they're quite tough, aren't they, <laughs> to get apart? Oops. There we go. And the good thing as well is you can have it as a big slab of cake like this, which sometimes I like because, yeah, I forgot what I was saying. <laughs> sometimes you like a big bit of cake, but then you could also chop these in half again and, you know, have more layers of filling. It just depends on your personal preference, doesn't it, really? Yeah. Oops, I've got one in here already. So, um, Karen Naylor's laughing because she is a... a Karen Naylor works for us at a marriage registrar. So she's oh, just really? Going, she's just saying to Martin, Martin, that's the registry done. Who can make the cake, cake makers? <laughs> I will be making the cake. Would you make your own wedding cake? Yeah, that? I've always said, if I was, when, well, if we get married, <laughs> that I'll be making my own wedding cake. I'll be there in my dress, piping the border on. <laughs> be late to my own wedding. But what was you doing? I was piping the border on. <laughs> yeah. I just think what, what a memory to have is that you made your own cake. Yeah, how fabulous. <laughs> there we go. I'm going to put a little bit of buttercream in the middle. When I'm at home, I usually just get them nice and straight. And because I'm here and I'm on camera, I just know that it's just going to like slide off one way. <laughs> I never worry about any of that. I know some people like it all to be perfect, but I just never worry about it. And I've always got a lopsided cake, but I somehow managed to hide it all. Yeah, it's all just the photo angles, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> you just make sure you don't take the picture on the yeah. lopsided side. The thing is, I can't even hide mine with photo angles. They really, <laughs> really are lopsided. I'll show you all after what the cake I made on Tuesday in our yes. between flowers class. Um, you can just blame me on the camera. Yeah. yeah. Do you want me to show you it while she's just getting something? When she's done this, I'll show you my cake. Yeah, that'd be great. 
I'm just going to pack myself like a little bit of a dam around the edge just so we don't lose any curd. Oh, that's lovely. I think I have seen that actually. Yeah, try that, yeah. mm, I think Jane did one. Yeah, Jane seen... did yeah. Yeah. yeah, she's in the group. I know Jane has actually made this chocolate cake with the cherry chocolate powder. Well, she powder. was the one who was desperate for you to come on and share it. She said it's an amazing cake. So well done, Jane McDougall. She was I one. Know. I shared it with Jane. We've got Sicily to make the chocolate cake. I went, what chocolate cake? She said, actually, it's amazing chocolate cake. You should have seen the first chocolate cake I ever made. My mum couldn't swallow it. It was really bad. <laughs> it was. <laughs> so dry. Really, really bad. But you, you just start at the bottom, don't you, in the end? Yeah. <laughs> I like this idea. This is cool, isn't it? Mmm. There's my orange curd. I'm going to put a little bit of this in. I say wow. a little bit, that's a lot. Yeah, wow, but that's super good, isn't it? Look how smooth that is. That's absolutely lovely. It's so yummy. It's nice as well if you like dump some of it and stir it in a little bit on top of a cheesecake. <laughs> Does that curd need to have been kept in the fridge for quite a while before you can use it? Or could you use the stuff that you've just... The one that I've just made, yeah, ideally you want to let it come completely cold and then put it in the fridge overnight just so it can set up as much as it can before you want to put it in a cake. If you were just going to use it, you know, on your toast or something, then you could just do it straight away, I suppose. I'm going to put the next one on. Oh, my cousin is watching. Hi, Christine. Nice to see family members watch. I think my dad's watching. Hi, Dad. <laughs> would he be shy? Would he say hi back? He would say hi. He'd be like, everyone, that's my daughter. <laughs> He's very proud, Dad. <laughs> good. That's how we should be. There we go. I keep losing my spatulas. There we go. That's it stacked. And this is what I mean about the high. Oh, this is funny. Geraldine Allen says she's going to change her husband's, na husband's name to Martin. And Cicely, you can have him if you want. <laughs> <laughs> and we've got Joel watching, age 10. So Joel is watching. Hi, Joel. Hi, so Joel. he says he's enjoying the live tonight and uh, he is watching. Hello. Nikki King says, can you imagine chocolate and white wedding dress? Mm. <laughs> mm. Well, maybe just get like a really long flowy apron to go on top of the wedding Absolutely. dress. Absolutely. <laughs> I can never really talk when I'm doing this bit because I no, have to no, do my concentration talk. phase. Don't talk, I'm going to read, I'm going to read out some comments. Okay. So we're all talking about, it's amazing how many people made their own wedding dress. So Kat S, she made her own wedding dress and four bridesmaids. Wow. So you carry on piping and I'll shout them all out. I can't particularly see it. Um, we need to go. Yeah, there we go. Yeah, what, a piping? Yeah. Oh, where's your camera? Just hold on while we get the side camera on for you. Sicily. Yeah. Because the side camera is on the food mixer, so we're just going to pull it over there so they can see. Because at the moment we can only see a top angle. So just a moment. That means they're going to get full camera shot in there. Oops, sorry. Which side do you want it to see? Smashing the equipment up, don't worry. <laughs> <laughs> so we're just going to move the camera a little bit. You're all right, my darling. Mm. You enjoy yourself. Yeah, just a bit warm. I think it's because I was over that pan. So Simon's just doing a little jig around the kitchen here. A jig? <laughs> <laughs> Have a little look. Okay. That's a bit better, yes. Yeah, that's good. And then they can see how you smooth out the cake. And look at that, there's me, headless. Thanks, Simon. Hi. <laughs> <laughs> I'm nearly as big as you now, Cicely. <laughs> Just everyone zooming into my chest. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just watching how up close it is of me just like. <laughs> 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 
It has to look ugly before it looks pretty, guys. Oh, I like that statement, Cicely. Don't you have some nice things to say like that? It has That's to look right. ugly before it becomes pretty. How oh, lovely. I love all the funny things you say. She <laughs> has had me hitting stitches here tonight. I'm like that. And her mum keeps giggling like, yeah, that's what she says. <laughs> Hello, Tony O'Grady. Tony is from Australia and she's just come in with oh, us now. Wow. She's a regular follower of the Sugar and Crumbs Kitchen. Hello. <laughs> so, Carrie Ann, when will the chocolate orange cocoa powder be back in stock, please, Carol? I don't know. I didn't know we were out of stock. So, what I will do is I will make sure I screenshot this message. I'm going to then email myself and check it at 7 o'clock in the morning. I'm actually in work at half past six. So, I will check it in the morning. I love my lovely early starts at Sugar and Crumbs. <laughs> I wonder whether if you was to really chill your cake, so it was like nice and cold buttercream, whether you'd be able to use curd as a drip. Uh, I probably think that would be a good way to give it a try. Drip works mm. best on like ri on frozen cakes. Yeah, so I usually that. chill mine yeah. really cold before I do a drip. Yeah. But I can imagine Curd would do the same. Yeah. So Michelle said she bought chocolate orange cocoa powder about 5pm today, so must have only just gone out of stock. I'll double check it in the morning. I, I can't see. They were making chocolates last week in the production area, so I can't see we're being out of stock. There we go, that's us crumb coated. That's a nice coat. Oh. And your cake is lovely and level. Is it? Yeah, <laughs> it is. I'm very proud of you. Uh, I usually have a spirit level at home. Do you? Mm. Yeah. Yeah. And it usually takes me a lot well, longer yeah, than this yeah, as just well. Just it off lovely and level as well. Why can't I do that? It's a fluke, honestly, it's a fluke. Look at at home, home it wouldn't like do that. Mine becomes all on level again. <laughs> I have to have those dodgy bits there so that I can then pipe round them and hide everything. <laughs> <laughs> there we go, we're Look all that. cool. Right. 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 Just that easy. Good. No, Martin will vouch for me, this doesn't happen at home. There'll be at least 45 minutes of me scraping and scraping yeah. and scraping and putting it back on. Yeah. Have you tried yeah. that little rolling? No, I haven't. Should I get it back? Yes. Try. And then I have been looking at it. I've been looking at it, it for a while. A little roll is a treat. So just let me go and get it for you. One second. And then you can try it and see. I how just look at all it. different things and then I just drop comments to Martin and say, oh, that would be really good. That'd be really helpful. And just slowly add it to my Christmas list. And how are your cakes doing in the oven? I will check. <laughs> Do you know how to use a little roller? Not really. Shall I show you? Yes. Oh. Right, we need a little bit of icing sugar. Any excuse, Carol? I know. Well, we're going to get the roller out because I want Cicely to just test it <coughs> test it because she'll be in awe. Are you just checking your cakes? So just a minute, we've disappeared while we check the cakes. They're getting a... a um a tour of the cake. Still We're getting a tour of the cake, are they? Right, <laughs> just a moment. Hang on a second, hang on a second, hang on a second. So. Just a minute. Sorry, I'm just getting some ice and sugar out. <laughs> out of the bag here. Uh, let me get a plate. That you're wondering what I'm up to, don't you, Ellie? <laughs> She's like that. Why has she got this rolling thing out? Plaster wallpaper on. You do look really good. Right, Ellie. Uh, Ellie, Cicely, you come back this way. And I'll come back past you. Now, this is what I want you to do. So, you stand there with your finger, girl. Oh, okay. I've to, I've, hang on, Carol. I've got to. I've got, got to, to get the camera ready. <laughs> right. So when I tell you, Ellie. So look, this is what we're going to do. And it doesn't matter that you, you can use white icing sugar or brown icing sugar. So we're just going to 
Just smooth it out a little bit. Oh, wow. I feel like that would take so much time off. No, just... And if you use white icing sugar, it absorbs anyhow, so don't yeah. worry. So, because this is your cake, mm -hmm. okay, we don't want to stick my finger in it. <laughs> so, so come here with your finger and do a nice stripe down the cake. Oh, sacrament. Let them see it. There you go. What have Ooh. you done? Tell me now. <laughs> Don't you know how to do a strap? Oh, does it taste good? Really, really good. <laughs> so there you go. Oh, that broke my heart a little bit. Oh, wow. Are you impressed? Very impressed. Can you see in this one? <laughs> oh, wow. So if you catch it, You dig, you dug deep there, didn't you? A little bit. <laughs> Everything Sorry. else is out. Did you have to go for the real dig deep there? <laughs> I just wanted to taste it. I know. There you go, and it's out. Look. Oh, that's amazing. Isn't it? Do you like it? You've seen it before your very eyes now, haven't you? Yeah, I've seen reviews about it, and I've been looking at. Should I get one? But that's there amazing. You there you go. There you go. There you go. Yeah, and then oh, you can do it on it. the top. You've not left her any, oh. any to do herself. Go on then, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> well, this is the crumb coat, so it's all right. So can you wash these or yeah, yeah. or do you have to replace them every no, time? No, 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 you just wash them out in warm soapy water and so stand them on the side. Just do it at the top now, it's all around. Don't be getting your OCD on there for every wrinkle. <laughs> <laughs> and you just rub it lightly, not hard. If oh, you I haven't like got the this. little rolly ladies, seriously, add it to your shopping basket. So it is great. You get one handle, six little rollies. All you need to do is just wash them in warm soapy water. Do not put them in the dishwasher. I was just and, about to ask that. Uh, warm soapy water, rinse them out in uh, warm water, because obviously you don't want to leave any soap. And then just leave them stood up on a bit of kitchen roll. There you go. Just put them on the top. And uh, even though we're using white icing sugar here, it just gets absorbed into the cake. This is amazing, yeah. And don't press too hard, just nice and light. Stop playing now. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just like, mine. Oh, I can't even think of the word. Got begozzled. <laughs> I think I made that up. <laughs> I, I love that. I love that, isn't it good? And it's nice mm. to show people as well. Mm. Yeah, so somebody said about using paint rollers. Please don't use paint rollers. Simon, why should you not use paint rollers? Because they're toxic, Carol. Because they're toxic. We didn't know that. We weren't sure ourselves. But this, is, this is food safe. Yeah. Food safe foam. Mm. Food safe foam. To be fair, if you go and smell a roller from the um, DIY shop, they stink, they stink awful. Please don't. Because they're food safe. Yeah? So they're brilliant. Good. Right, what we're going to do is this cake next then. Chuck another layer on. I think. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> um, Marie Dowling, I know that you maybe think that they're expensive for what they are, but we actually had to import them from America. And when you think you're getting six roll, you get six rollies and a handle. We actually had to import them. They actually belong to Evil Cake Genius. And mm. um, they, we actually had to pay a hell of a lot of money in shipping, flight shipping at the moment. Uh, when our flat, our second um, purchase is this, the shipping cost over five thousand pounds. Where the previous shipping, I thought the previous shipping was three hundred fifty, but I got that wrong. It was actually twelve hundred. Uh, but it actually went up in price by four times for the shipping. Um, also, we had to pay customs, and obviously when we come to sell a product, we have to pay VAT on the product as well. So I do agree with you. It looks very expensive, um, but I think the amount of people who've got a little rolly, they'll all say how amazing it is, because it is actually amazing. For those people who can smooth the cake very, very easily and enjoy smoothing the cake, you know what, it's great, but there's a lot of us who actually struggle with it and it just makes life I easier. I struggle. 
and sometimes there is tears when I have to keep scraping it back off and redoing it. Yeah. And I think as well, if you do struggle, that valuable time that you're going to save doing this. Yeah. And the worst thing is when you've smoothed it all and then you go and bang it and you usually bang yeah. it with your finger or your palette knife or something, don't you? And it's just nice to know that you've got something that can just quickly brush it out without having to go all the way around with a scraper again. Yeah. So lots of people absolutely love it and uh, Margaret Kirk is loving this live and they would love you, Cicely, to come back again, which we've spoken to Cicely love to. So they are. Lots of people are just saying how brilliant the product is and lots of you watched it. When this product came to market, I've got to be honest, I didn't want to stock it because like everybody else, I thought it wasn't worth the money. Anyhow, due to request, I did stock it and then everybody was scared of using it. So I actually had to go live and I, if there was anyone... There was a, if there was anyone who was who was like shaking that night or going live because I wanted to go, you know, like, let's go live. Let's go right from the packet and see how it goes. John was very much, no, you need to test it. And I didn't get to test it. And when I went live with it, oh my God, goodness, there was no one more relieved than me to know that it worked. Remember that night, Simon? <laughs> <laughs> There was no one more relieved than me that it worked. And I have to say, it, it's a game changer for those of us, mm -hmm. and I'm one of those people who can't get smooth edges. So um, I think it's very well worth the investment. And um, it's called A Little Rolly, and it's L-I-L, -L, and it's R-O-L-L-Y. We only sell them as a, as a set. Um, with some companies, you can buy it with one handle and three rollers, and then you buy free rollers on their own, but we just sell them as a set because I look at it, once you've got them, you'll, you'll want a few of them. And I'll show you how to put them together after. Debbie Hargreaves, you're so right. Your, pit, your face was the picture when it, worked, when it worked. My face could not have been very, any more happier. I was so relieved. I actually thought it was going to be one of those lives that I was definitely going to have to go. It was well, a combination of relief and amazement. <laughs> I think it was. I really thought it was one of those lives that I was definitely going to have to go under the counter for, but it saved me. I completely forgot that I was on camera. Oh, yeah, you were just enjoying yourself there. Do I, do, I pull a concentration face where I like to stick my tongue out. Like. You, you, your face hasn't been on camera. That's all right then. Because <laughs> all of a sudden I was like, oh no. So Leona Cat, and I, I'm, you know I'm going to give this a try, Karen McFarlane, top tip to get a sharp edge on buttercream cake is to leave the rugged edge on top of the cake and then once the cake is chilled, cut off the sharp excess with a hot, sharp knife. I have heard that. I'm going to do David, that. David, I've tried Simon, it. Simon, on our next big cake, we're doing that. We're going for it. So we'll have a little rolly, smooth it all I'm going to have to go a go at doing this, you know. Yeah. You, you're all saying how hard it is. <laughs> You should do it as like a challenge, you know, like you've got it, half an hour to do this. If I can plaster, I can do, I can, I can do that on a cake. Yeah. <laughs> I've plastered a curved wall, so this can't yeah. be hard. <laughs> yeah, well, I actually think you could do this, Simon. I think what we'll do is, should we get you on the live baking and doing a cake one night? I don't know about baking a cake. Hey, well, you always come up with top yeah. tips. Yeah, no, they've got you booked in, Simon. You're booked in. Simon on a live next week. Simon on a live next week. Martin's going to ask Cicely to marry him. <laughs> Karen Naylor's going to do the wedding. We could have a great live here yeah. next week, could we? Live we could have a sugar kitchen. Simon can make the cake and Karen could uh, confirm everything. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I think that would be great. You're not or, just getting a proposal, you're getting the, the actual... <laughs> making, a cake, making your wedding cake and... I feel like every wedding, time yeah, I come on day. live, we should just test out different wedding cake designs till he finally gives in. Kathy Eaton <laughs> says, don't, well, don't worry, Cicely, I always stick my tongue out. Did you have your tongue out doing that cake? Then? Yeah, <laughs> you? I was concentrating. I was like, <laughs> well, in a concentration phase, and all of a sudden I thought, oh gosh, I'm on camera. But luckily enough, I wasn't. Simon, the request is in. It looks like you booked. I think you've all, listen, you've always come up with good ideas here. Mm. You do pay attention to all the cakes. It doesn't he, ladies? Do, isn't he very good how he pays attention to everything? And he's always surpri surprised, isn't it? Um, he's always precise. Out comes the tape measure. <laughs> Jackie Evans, Carol, remember you are doing it. Oh, yeah, I'm meant to be doing a cherry blossom cake. On. Oh, well done, Jackie. Yeah, that's right. I think I've also said I'm going to do uh, 
little roses. No, I think I'll do the cherry blossom cake and I'll do the little roses for the macarons, yes. I won't make macarons on Monday. I think I'll do the little roses and the cherry blossom cake. Yeah, absolutely. This is brilliant. Simon, Debbie Harabry says, money where your mouth is. <laughs> Elaine Hollywell, put into the test, Carol. I think Thursday night is going to be your big night, Simon, next week. Not, th not the Thursday. It has to be the Thursday. You're not having Monday. Monday's my slot. <laughs> so you you best get thinking. That gives you a full week now to get thinking. What do you think, Cicely? Are you coming back to watch Simon? Yeah. <laughs> I'll be tuning in to watch. <laughs> Definitely. I'll have to get you to have a go at doing this cake. Hey, don't be getting precise with that, you know. You're meant to just wing it all over it and be lovely and gentle. Not you doing all your perfectionist bit. Look at that, tongue out, perfectionist, like they're absorbed in, they're all watching you there. I'm just so impressed. I'm just... <laughs> Being pleased with yeah. it, yeah. I'm just, like, in awe of it. I'm just... Oh, look at that. We could all attend the wedding next Thursday. <laughs> <laughs> I don't even think they're going to get the day out of work. Oh my God, we could all attend the wedding so, though. Is Martin, is Martin gone quiet? I think Martin's gone very quiet. He's probably <laughs> fell asleep, to be honest. He's been at work. Oh, that was funny. Rita Guy said she used her role and her son was so impressed and said that she could go working with him for doing the blast drink. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, it's a done deal now, Bianca says, Simon. Yeah, Martin Griggs has says, and Martin has left for live. Oh, God. <laughs> oh, would you be a Mrs. Griggs? Yeah, well, oh. my daughter's a Griggs yeah. as well. Yeah. She's Patricia Griggs. Yeah. Interesting. Uh, so... I think she's, I think you say, I don't know how to say your name, I don't, I don't want, I think it's, it, I'm going to spell out D-V, D-I-V-Y-A, I don't know how to say it, interesting, I've never seen Simon doing a live, well let me tell you now, I think he should do one, because he sticks his nose in often enough, don't you Simon? <laughs> <laughs> he's going on, he doesn't know what to do now, does he? And he can wear one of his new t-shirts that he prints on, what's your t-shirt say? Not printed anymore. Anybody who was in the Buttergreen Flowers, he printed, was it Buttergreen Flowers or the Bouquet, Bouquet Group last week? You did your t-shirt. It's the um, Bouquet Group. Bouquet Group. Yeah, Jay McDougall says it's another professional winging it live masterclass using the little rolly. <laughs> <laughs> Look at Cicely, Look, she loves it, we can't get her off it. <laughs> eh? <laughs> I think they might want to go over at some point, Cicely. I know. Yeah, I think we're done. <laughs> We're done. We're a little bit excited. Are you going to decorate it? Yeah. What, is that it? what are you going to decorate it with? Mm. I made candied orange peels. Oh, good. Are you going to show us mm. how to make them? I can show you how to why make not? them. Why not? Yeah. yeah. Why not? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Move this over here. Do you want to see how she makes candied orange peels? Mmm. Yeah. So. You just oh, rinse out my pan. Simon, you have got so many requests, you have now dropped yourself right in it, Simon. <laughs> really, there's 336 people here watching you saying they can't wait for you to do your first live. <coughs> and they hope you're going to have it. So he's uh, telling and says they hope that you're going to have your special t shirt. So, <laughs> what's the swine stuff that she's dipping in the rolling? Um, just icing sugar. So, just icing sugar, that's all you need. And the little rolly, all you do is wash it out in warm soapy water, stand it on its side, don't leave it on the roll, on the roll part, on the end part, stand it up on some kitchen roll, leave it to drip dry. Drip dry. Maureen can hardly wait now, Simon. You're in big trouble, Simon. Right, mm, okay, that's what I'm doing the live next week. What are you going to do now? I'm just putting that. So Cicely's just going to get ready to show you how to do some candied iced oranges, yeah? And while you're there, you know what, I'll show you my cake while she's getting everything ready for you. So my buttercream flowers class, I'll just quickly show it you. Let me just move this out of the way. So uh, anybody who wants to join our classes, 
and um, got loads of classes with lots of tutors they're absolutely great so those ladies i know there's loads of you here that have been in the classes and uh, they you know we've got the we've got ollie the chock in we have claire corbett in we have doreen in who else do we have in i'm just thinking now uh, Jerry Chu doing classes, I do classes, we've got Valerie and Christina doing classes as well. So all the classes are great and if you're in the, those groups they are great fun. Um, this is my buttercream flowers class, now it's £75 but we have done so far 19 flowers, maybe 20 flowers and we do two flowers a week and we uh, do them in a small version and a big version and the test for me last week is that uh, they, uh, a young lady called Louise said Carol can you do a stargazer lily and I sort of ooh, choked on myself anyhow I thought right okay I think I know how to do one and this is what we come up with so I hope you like it do you want to have a over red Simon <laughs> so those are our stargazer lilies now they're not bitonic is it bitonically correct is that how you say it how do you say it Botonically? Botonically? Botonically, Is correct. Or anatomically? <laughs> but you know what, aren't they pretty? So I hope you really like them. So this week was making these and making uh, forget me knots. So we do have a great time in that class. Um, I always say it's for two hours, but everyone's got used to it now. It's generally three to four. But you just come in and join and when you watch. So um, for £75, I think, as I say, I think we're on 19 or the 20th flower. I don't know how much that works out per class. How much has that worked out so far? £75 divided by 20. £3. Yeah, that's what we're up to per flower. And the classes just go on every week. Um, I think next week we're making cannula lilies and something else. I don't know what else we're going to make. But anyhow, I just thought I'd show you. Are you ready? Are you all organised yes, now for this I'm surprise organized. one? You didn't know you was going to do this, did you? No. No? There you go. See? Just got a bit of time there. So I hope you like that. And there you go. And there's the little um, forget-me-nots that we did. So what we did is we, I showed everybody how to make it onto a board. And then some ladies did it on their cupcakes. And then I decided to go for it and put them all on a big cake. What do you think? I love it. You did? I really, really love it. Goody good. Right, I'll get back on my seat then. Okay, so just quickly wiping down the area a bit because I've made a bit of a mess. So when we, uh, just while she's cleaning down the board, so what we did then as well is we just practice on the cake board first. So that you can see what they look oh, like. So it's great to practice on a cake board. It's got a shorter petal here because I've smudged it. But uh, there you go, it doesn't look pretty. I love that. Looks nice, doesn't it? Mm. Yeah. And then um, if you put it on greaseproof paper, you can just peel it off. You can peel it off this as well, just a bit harder. But that's how we started off the class for these big flowers. Good. Right, you're back, Cicely. I love your earrings, Cicely, aren't they lovely? Thank you. Right. Little slices of cake. cake. <laughs> <laughs> so these are my little candied orange slices. Are ones already? Yeah, these I'm are the ones I made at home. Yep. Yeah. Shall I have that one that you just picked up? Yeah. <laughs> Very, very sweet. Oh, they're just like, But um, they taste like sweets. They just like when you buy them. What yeah. are they when you buy them? They're gorgeous. Well, they're the same thing, really. Mm. Just cheaper and at home. <laughs> they're gorgeous. Oh, my goodness. Yeah. I like them. And they look really cute as mm. well. You believe in them behind? <laughs> mm. I keep telling you, I'll leave you the cake if you want to. <laughs> no, I better not cake me. Right, so what we need is... A full cup of sugar and a cup of water. So it's essentially just like a sugar syrup. We turn that on so it can start to dissolve. So if you get the sugar to dissolve in the pan, Water we put in? It's just one cup of water, one cup of sugar. Mm -hmm. So it's just going to make 
you know, like a sugar syrup. Uh. I know some people do use them on their cakes, just plain like this, a mm. sugar syrup, to keep it moist. Yes, we do. Yeah. yeah. Um, and you can do that with our flavoured icing sugars as well, dissolve them in water. Mm. water. I bet that's sugar really syrup, good. Yeah. Um, if some of you don't use sugar syrup for your cakes, it is really nice to mm. do it. It does keep them nice and moist. And as Cicely says, you can do it with just um, caster sugar or granulated sugar. But yep. try it with the flavoured icing sugars, dissolve in them, and then mm. drizzle it into your cake as well. So it's nice to see all the positivity about the classes. The classes are great for not just my own class, all the tutors that come into the Sugar and Crumbs kitchen. And each of the groups, there's a proper community spirit in the groups. And I love looking at the... Um, posts that go on in the group and how excited everybody is and when you join a class the class is yours forever so you can go back for reference all the time and like I say I think I'm up to um, I think I'm up to flower 19 or 20 and I don't intend to do it I look at it as my Tuesday afternoon with you so I look at it you know what let's do new flowers all the time and we're going to go through different um, mediums of buttercream as well and we'll also be doing succulents <laughs> so when I'm at home, what pose was that? What pose was that? That was a fucking lip bomb, that one, wasn't it? Was it? I don't even know. It's just because I'm concentrating. Mm. At home, I do use a mandolin because I'm left-handed. You know, like one of them boards with the blade and you oh, slice yeah. down it. Yeah, right. I use one of them at home to get, you know, to make sure that I get them all the same, even slice because I'm not very good at chopping. So they always end up all different sizes. Um, I would say you don't need, uh, you can either use caster sugar, normal sugar or icing sugar. If you use normal sugar, it takes a bit longer to dissolve, that's all. And if mm -hmm. you use icing sugar, it dissolves really quickly. I have read the tip as well, that some people say to boil the orange, mm -hmm. um, just for a little while before, and it gets rid of the bitterness of the peel. But I think... Whole. We, you mean boil it whole? Yeah, like just... No. Chuck the whole orange in a pot of water and boil it for just about 10 minutes and then drop it into some ice water because it's meant to get rid of like the bitterness from yeah. the, what's it called, the, the pith? Yeah. Is it the pith? The white bit. <laughs> <laughs> um, but I actually don't mind a bit of the bitterness because no, I don't mind. I like it. you're boiling it in mm. basically... Just that plate, I like that. Ooh. <laughs> Seeing as you're making some more. How long, do you to, how long do you have to wait for them to cool? 24 hours. Eh? How many hours? 24. Oh my goodness, yeah. I'm not going to use all of them oh, though, am I? I'm only going to use a few across the top. Oh, one second. <laughs> yeah, so. I'm going to chuck into that. So you have to leave this to bubble in the pot for about an hour. And then once they're all bubbled, you take them out and put them in. On just like a drying rack, like you know, like the cake drying racks, mm. for 24 hours. But just make sure you put something underneath it because they will drip and it's like sticky syrup. Mm. So it'll make a big mess on the sides. Mm. Just gonna drop these in and then leave them for about 24 hours. You can leave them less, but then they'll still be quite wet. So then they just the sugar will just dissolve. Yeah. Oops. But yeah, if you leave them for like 24 hours, that's what gives them like the chewiness, like a sweet. Well, they're absolutely gorgeous. They are absolutely gorgeous. So you just dissolve the sugar, put these yep. in, and then what you do, just... Just bubble them for an, about an hour. Yeah. And then leave them to dry 24 hours. And do you leave them to dry in the pan? No, I take them out and put them on a little drying rack. Yeah. For 24 hours. Um, or these ones I just left just overnight. Yeah. Don't worry, yeah. ladies, we're not going to make you wait 24 hours. No, and I'm then very just toss them to in the sugar. I'm going to be getting these tomorrow. Mm. <laughs> yeah, and then you just have to toss them in a little bit of sugar, yeah. and then that's what gives them like that look. And yeah. Jill Cook says, how long do they keep for? Well, it depends how long? good you are at not eating them all in one go. <laughs> I'm not actually too sure. I'd imagine they'll last quite a while because sugar's a preservative, isn't it? Yeah. Absolutely, mm, yeah. I'm not 100% sure. Would you store them in the fridge? No, I wouldn't because no. it'll make them go wet and sticky yeah, again. Sticky, yeah, yeah okay. and it will yeah. get my little cloth because my hands yeah. are sticky now. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, um, I just put them in like a clip lock box just to keep them airtight 
uh, with greaseproof paper between the layers and I just like stacked them in layers. Mm. Yeah, and just put them like that. Fantastic. Pretty good. Yeah. Well, well that's you better it. Get them out of my way because I reckon I'm gonna stack them all. <laughs> Let me move these out the way. So we're going to leave this lovely mess that Karen's coming tomorrow. Karen's got a class, uh, a class with uh, Doreen. If any of you are on the um, Halloween cake toppers tomorrow, the class mm -hmm. starts at 10 o'clock. Are you mm -hmm. streaming that one tomorrow, yeah. Simon? Yeah. So well, am I going to come into a mess? I've got I would to never I leave a mess. Listen, I'm in work at half past six in the morning. Tomorrow you best get here early with Karen to help clean up and get ready well, for that. Mm. Yeah. Yeah, she will. I'd never leave a mess. <laughs> never. Are you going to clean up after? Of course I am. Oh, I'm not going to yes. leave a mess. Yeah. Your, your mum is pointing at herself. I think it's your mum saying something. I'll make the bruise. Yeah. <laughs> I'll drink my cup of tea so, and my mum will clean it. I think we've got a friend. I, I meant to shout out her name before. So Natasha May too. So she, said, she did say hi before, and then we got, I was about to shout it out, and then I actually um, got distracted. So, uh, Natasha, sorry about that, but she says, it's so weird watching my childhood best friend in the sugar and crumbs kitchen. Isn't that lovely? I like yeah. that. And Nicola Fox says she bets that they will be really nice at swirl in cinnamon swirl icing sugar. Yes. Oh, <laughs> should, I put a, should I put a bag of that in here to try? Yes. Tomorrow? That would be so me. good. And I bet as well, with the time of year coming up, yeah. that like cinnamon spice. Yeah. It's the Christmas cakes and stuff. Mm, or on top of cupcakes, like spiced cupcakes. Don't laugh at me. So, Marco Cook says, Marco Cook says, Mr. Google says you can keep the peel in an airtight container for a month. There we go. It would not last it a month. Last month. <laughs> Listen, whatever's left here tonight, I'm having... I'm having first dip on them. You cut all the cake off cuts. No, I want them. <laughs> <laughs> I'll bring you a really big box next time I cut. Absolutely. And you could, do it the, you could do it the same with like lemon or mm. grapefruit, mm. lime, lime, whatever you're feeling really. What's ever, mm. I'm chucking it out myself. So are you all enjoying this live everybody? Do give, it, do give Cicely some love. I know you have done, but give us some more. It's always nice to see it, isn't it? And um, I'm really pleased that she wants to be in the kitchen on a regular basis, don't you, Cicely? Yes, I would love to be on a regular basis. Mm -hmm. And that's one thing that I did want to say as well when I came on. But I got a bit camera struck. <laughs> but um, that's one thing I did want to say. Is thank you so much for all the love that you gave me last time. I did go home, I did re-watch it and read all of the comments. And yeah, it was really, really nice to yeah. hear everything that everyone had to say. And the people that messaged me afterwards. To say you enjoyed it. And do you know what's so lovely? It's lovely with having the guests in because when COVID was on, we couldn't have any guests in the kitchen. I saw somebody comment to say that, you know, where, where was all the sugar and crumbs guests? But while COVID was on, we couldn't have any, any, so I had to be here. So it's quite nice that over the last month, we've actually been able to invite guests back into the kitchen. So uh, we're lovely to have you here twice in a month. Fantastic. I know. Mm. So there we go. I don't know how to say your name, but I think it's it's C H I don't know how to say this. C H A N E L V A says, but how come this kitchen never gets messy? Mine is always a hot mess. Don't worry, this kitchen is messy. Just don't look down that side. <laughs> yeah, should I just turn the camera? I know, I've got on? I've oh. stacked it the whole length just of the turn kitchen. The camera. Oh, there you go, there's Mum. Hi Mum. Hi Mum. <laughs> There she is. <laughs> Don't yeah. worry, the kitchen is messy. It's stacked all the way up. Did you hear that, Simon? Uh, yeah, just about. <laughs> right. Gonna do a swirl. So you've onwards so she's loving this live. How long do you boil the slices for, please? An hour. An hour. I would say an hour. You could do it less. And is it boil or summer? I like to bring it up to a boil and then turn it down so it will just simmer. What's it doing now? Let's have a... We'll have a nosy in the pan. Yeah, it's simmering. Yeah, it's just simmering at the minute. Yeah. So Karen Holt said the live is great. Thanks, Carol, Cicely, Simon as well, as it's his turn next. His turn <laughs> is next Thursday because Monday... <laughs> Don't worry, ladies, I'm on it. 
Don't worry, that's going to be part of his job title next week. He's on it. He'll have to, he's got a whole week to think about what he's going to do now. Um, Monday, I will be doing, um, well, Karen will be in the kitchen in the morning. And then Monday night, what did I say I'm making? Oh, I'm going to make the cherry blossom cake for you. So cherry blossom cake, and then I'll do some little, I'll show you how to make some little roses and some tiny little peonies for your macarons. So I'll get Karen to make some macarons and um, and then we'll do those. So come on then, Cicely, sorry. Chatting <laughs> it's all right. I'm just putting some little swirls on the top. Nothing too exciting going on. Maria Motta said, said it's been fabulous and you're a little sweetie and a natural on the camera. Thank you. Yeah, she is a sweetie. She is. She's made me laugh. And Natasha says, I need another one of your cakes, Cicely. Mm. Martin's got his eye on this one, I think, Natasha. I've just realised that I'm doing this from my side, but I don't know if I know how to do it backwards. Yeah, I've definitely got a camera set up that can see you anyway, so I'm kind of... This one, can I set this one up there? That I can set that one up there, there we go. There we go. Yeah. So we've just got mum in a little bit there. <laughs> okay. Can you zoom in there, Sam? I shall move that. Yeah. Can you zoom in there? Is that, is that okay? Just about. Yeah. yeah. And then Cicely's going to put her arm in the way. Oh, look at you getting all of your fantasy piping. Oh, I'm just oh, putting a just small... Just stop, 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 Sam wants to get a close-up. So hold that point there. <laughs> <laughs> Is that actually I'm not in now. No, just wait a minute, just hold. I'm holding, guys. I'm holding, guys, <laughs> hold. Hold, hold, hold. <laughs> so, hold, hold, hold. There we go. <laughs> hold, hold, hold. Wait till he presses the button so she can get up. Oh, you're right. Oh, right. Yeah, that's right. Look at that. Okay. You might just get to see this lovely wiggle she's doing. Look at that. There we go. Yeah, that's lovely, that. I like that. Very nice. Very classy. Mmm. Yeah. Yeah, like that. I've got icing all over my hands now because it came out the top of the bag. <laughs> so, Karen Long, um, what you do with the candied... Um, Oranges is I'll get I'll get Cicely to repeat it. Go on, Cicely, repeat it. So what, what did you do? Make them? So, um, what did you do? Tell them the recipe again. Right, so it's just one cup of sugar, one cup of water. So you can change that to any ratio, really, big or small, as long as it's you know same of both. And then I used one orange and I cut it into slices and then in half. But you can leave them as whole circle slices if you wanted to and you let them boil for an hour and you know just simmer and then take them out put them on a drying rack with something underneath it to catch the drips for 24 hours and then just toss them in a bit of sugar okay. and then that's it done and um, <laughs> what type of sugar was used for the oranges please i use caster sugar but you can use the Carol's icing sugars. You can use granulated sugar, it just takes a little bit longer to dissolve. You can use caster sugar and you can use icing sugar, but they're very quick to dissolve, so just watch what you're doing with those. Yeah. Um, and the other thing is, when you use icing sugar, you don't get that grittiness, where with the caster yeah. sugar, you get that nice, crumbly, um, I don't want to say gritty is the wrong word, what's that? Crystallised, isn't it? What, for, yeah. for dipping it in? Yeah. Yeah. So, um, so um, Cicely's page, they want to know, what's your page again? Not Too Shabby Cakes. There you go, mm. Not Too Shabby Cakes. And Natasha has told everyone. And, uh, yeah, so take them nice and slow. And somebody's already said you can store them in an airtight container for a month. Don't pop them in the fridge, they may go sticky. Yes. Your cake looks amazing, Cicely. So go and finish Thanks, it off. Thanks, guys. And they can't wait till next Thursday's live with Simon. So forget, <laughs> forget mine on Monday. They're not interested in mine on Monday. But they're very interested in Simon's on Thursday. Then all I'm going to do is just pop some of my orange slices in between my little swirls. So, Louisa, you said, can we do something with ganache? Now, I'm not confident of ganache in a cake, but Cicely is. So, we, we had a conversation about ganache in a cake. I can, I can ganache. I 
I wouldn't say I'm really confident, but I'll have a go. Yeah. So what we'll do is we'll talk to Cicely when she comes back, when she wants to come back. She wants to come back on a regular basis. Mm. And we'll book a date and we'll use part of that class for ganache. Do you like that idea, Cicely? Yeah, I can do yeah. that. I can Let's have a practice that. run this week. <laughs> does the icing sugar used when using the little rolly disappear? It does. It's ideal, really, we should have used some chocolate icing sugar. But I've used white icing sugar and it is actually disappearing before our eyes. Yeah. There's not actually much on it now. So it will all be absorbed. And Jill Cook says that cake would, the cake would look lovely with a bride and groom. <laughs> <laughs> Definitely. And the tip that um, Cicely used was the 1M Wilton tip. Yeah. Everything that Cicely has used tonight you can buy on our website apart from the oranges. And you get them from the local veg shop or supermarket. Yeah. <laughs> um, but yeah. So there you go. Ta-da! Come on. What's up, everyone? Come on, Dizzy. There we go. I have to say, that looks beautiful. I think I might let you leave it behind. Mm. It is gorgeous. Absolutely very, very pretty. It smells it really good, too. delicious, doesn't it? Yes, it was the one M nozzle. Oh, doesn't it look lovely? And Nick, oh, Nick, you finally arrived. Where have you been? We're just finishing. <laughs> so Nick is out. Do you remember Nick? Who watches Geraldine's brother? He's only yeah. just arrived. Even Crimbley's. Crumbleys. Sorry I'm late. <laughs> <laughs> Better late than never. Uh, Jane McDoodle, well, it looks uh, it looks fantastic. Um, everyone is just saying fantastic. Lots of love, lots of things, lo lots of lots of lots, lots of thoughts. Thank you very much. And everyone's saying thank you for doing the live. Um, could you use the rolly on the ganache, Tony? Um, it does say, Evil Kate Genius say that you can use it with Swiss meringue buttercream and ganache. I've not used it on either. I found when I used it with Swiss meringue buttercream, I think what I should have done is, I should have put the Swiss meringue buttercream in the, once I've covered the cake, I should have put the cake in the fridge for a little while to firm up because it was quite sticky. I can and, try that this week. Yeah, and I didn't, I don't ever do, use ganache. I don't know how to do ganache. So we'll get Cicely on that one as well next week. When, when she's back in, because we've got Simon next week. <laughs> right, so I think we're all done. Have you all done there, Cicely? I yeah, think so, yeah. yeah. Right, now don't go anybody because I have to do the, um, I haven't done the draw, the like and share draw, so don't forget to like and share. Now we're doing a competition for the Great British Bake Off and um, because we can't actually um, taste um, what everybody makes, basically what I'm going to do is I'm going to do, spin the wheel and then pick a winner. So for the Great British Bake Off. So let me just find the post and Cicely can keep showing you her cake for a minute while I find the post. <laughs> so we've got 61 comments there. Um, what we're going to do with the Great British Bake Off, okay, let me just go to all comments. What we're doing with the Great British Bake Off, if you want to enter the competition, um, John puts it up every Wednesday morning and you have to the following Thursday night to enter your competition. And all you have to do is make a bake from this signature, uh, signature and technical, not the showstopper. We feel that's too much, so if you do either one, enter it. But to enter it, you need to put your name on and the date and a bag of Sugar and Crumbs product with it so that we, we know that you used our product, okay? And I think what they, they did last week, they made pineapple upside down puddings, which are amazing. Mm. So and I'm Battenberg. Going to spin. Battenberg yeah. mm. And Battenberg, yeah. So I am going to spin, so, <laughs> right, these are right there. Yeah. So what I'm going to do is, so what I'm going to do is I've loaded the la the post last week. So if you posted this anywhere else, unfortunately you're not in the competition, we need you to post it under here because I can't look all over Facebook for your entries. So, um, and the next competition is Biscuit Week and John's already set the post up there. So here we're going to go here. I put it to all comments. Can you see over there, Simon? Can you see on here? I can see that. Yeah, right, so I put it to all comments. So I'm just going to let me just load all the comments up. So I have to hope that I pick one with a picture. Okay, so I'm just going to spin them all up. So there we go. So I'm just going to go up and down, has up to be and one down. With a picture, Carol. I know it has to be one. We might have to do this a couple of times, right, me? So there we go. Up and down, up and down, up and down, up and down. Ooh, a fat Sicily, why don't you come and stick your finger on <laughs> my phone? Anywhere, anywhere. What, whenever now? you're ready, whenever you're ready. 
Wow, there we go. That so the, nice that was that there. was a proper firm finger, that was, wasn't it? <laughs> My goodness, there was no mucking about. So the winner is Karen Turner with a chocolate orange Battenberger. Battenberger, Battenberg. <laughs> so congratulations. Okay, so um, she's made that. The only thing I will say is, and I'll let you get away with it this time, you didn't put your bag of icing sugar with it, nor your name. Um, to prove, so that we don't have anybody using an image from whenever before we like you to put your name on with the competition and the bag of ice and sugar or one of our products that you may have used but i am going to let this go but that is in the rules but just as this is week one i'll let it go so karen you are a winner and what all you need to do is go to info.sugar info.sugar and crumbs at icloud.com and tell them that you won the um, great british bake off week one for the Battenberg cake and they will give you a code for a £25 voucher and this week it's £2 a bag of icing sugar so they'll give you a £25 voucher to spend in our shop and this week our icing sugars are on offer till Sunday um, at £2 a bag so you can actually buy loads of them if you wanted to or you could use it towards a class or buy some other goodies or maybe buy a little rolly I don't know you could do what you like so enjoy the competition everybody and I'm looking forward to seeing what you make next week and let me see let me just show you the posts that you need to be posting under now for all your bakes because John has put it up in the group let me just see so you can all recognize where you should be posting so it's not it's not on the group it's on our page you should be sharing so just let me find it well, I can't find it. I'll find it afterwards. It's on the page anyhow. So uh, congratulations, Karen. So I'm going to bring uh, Cicely back so you can say goodbye to her. The cake is amazing. This is my third one. They're so yummy. No more. <laughs> Mind you, want some? Yeah. <laughs> oh, I'll let you have them for then. <laughs> Thanks, Cicely. So when do you think we're going to get you back, girl? Whenever you want me. Well, we're sort of dating. Am <laughs> I lovely? So isn't the cake amazing? Give her the big thumbs up, everybody. And we have finished 10 minutes early. Thank yeah. you, guys. Yeah, absolutely. Thank you very much. Share the love. Pop over to Cicely's page. Give her a like. Please send us some comments. She'd love to read them on the way home tonight. And uh, thank you, Ellie, for coming in the kitchen and helping your daughter. Thank you, Mum. Yeah. All right. Bye, everybody. Bye. Bye. Bye.